from Silverstone to Spielberg. Touching wheels with his teammate Pitsy coming down the inside. What the f is he doing, man? Come on! The Red Bull back rookie Isaac Hadjar does it again. Marcus Armstrong takes the sprint in Styria. Isaac Hadjar across the line now. It's provisional pole for Hadjar, a 1.19.9. <laughs> right, safety car in then. When will Isaac Hadjar get this race underway? I think he's gone, and the Formula 3 feature race is on here. The Red Bull back rookie Isaac Hadjar does it again and will come across the line to take the win here in Austria. Race control, who had warned Frederick Vesti giving him a five-second time penalty. So many drivers are at the risk of what's just happened. Sargent has had times deleted. Uh, Cordiel has been given the black and white flag. So two drivers on the brink if they put all four wheels off the racetrack. No, 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 no. Armstrong being warned again. We see a time penalty pop up for Ollie Caldwell. Not one of the front runners that we were expecting. It's almost game show stuff waiting to see who, who gets awarded the prize and who tumbles down the order. Time penalty for Roberto Meri on his return to Formula 2. We need to get a bingo shoot going at who's going to be next <laughs> to get a five second penalty. They're certainly enjoying their time there in the swimming pool. I imagine, I think a few of the drivers will want to join uh, the already star-studded driver list that seems to be there, Kimi Raikkonen and watching on. And it is absolutely chucking it down, isn't it? Just look at the spray being kicked up uh, behind Isaac Hadjar. You can hardly even see the cars. Lights out, we're racing in Austria. Good reaction time for the man in the lead. Armstrong checks his mirrors. He's ahead of Teo Porcher. That's worked nicely. And for the second time this season, Marcus Armstrong will win in Formula 2. Marcus Armstrong takes the sprint in Styria. He has won at the Austrian round. Yes, Marcus. Yes, very, very, very good job. Yeah, cheers. Power with my And he has earned this on the car for the second time this season as an F2 winner. The Campos racing car of David Vidales touching wheels with his teammate Pepe Marti. It's not the first time two Campos cars have come together. So that is Zenek Chovanec and Francesco Pizzi. What the f*** is he doing, man? Come on! And uh, it's uh, Pizzi coming down the inside, hits the rear of Chauvinek. In the gravel, Zenek Chauvinek, who uh, was just uh, momentarily spun around by his teammate and not again with the two Chiroux cars. Here we go then, are they going to have another ding-dong? Yes, they are. Once more, Chauvinek and Francesco Pizzi. What the f***? Hey, How's this for the one of the strangest trophy presentations you'll ever see? Great to see Mick on the podium celebrating the trophy, uh, adding the trophy to his son. Never seen that before, but it's Formula 2. Which side is Crawford going to go down? He goes to the inside. I'm not sure there's really a lot Colo Pinto can do. Colette has the inside line. He's going to push Crawford near enough to the gravel. Crawford holds on. He's going to swoop into the left-hander. Can he do it cleanly? Crawford swoops round the outside and through to take the lead on lap 14 in front of Kai Colette. It'll be Jack Crawford, though, who will come round the final corner and will take the chequered flag to win his first race in Formula 3 in 2022. Yeah. Yeah, it took a long time for that one, but we got it. Well, it's the Red Bull back drivers that just seem to keep on winning at the moment. This time, it's Jack Crawford. You've got Sargent tucked right up underneath Dewan. Both of these drivers going with the wet tyre. Sargent going all the way around the outside. How about that? From Logan Sargent, what a move to light up the feature race. This is how Logan Sargent got past Frederick Vesti. Nice overtake with DRS.
and there's one car going past for Fittipaldi. That is sixth position, but there might be another. Logan Sargent on the charge. Yeah, he's really using those warmer tyres to his advantage. Can barely keep up here, and it's Formula 2. We're used to fantastic races. Round the outside and then some for Logan Sargent. Once again, around this circuit has proven to be absolutely wonderful. The races come thick and fast. I hope you can join us next time out for more action when FIA Formula 2 returns.